I am here. What is up, internet? My name is Ver and welcome to today's video. Today we're doing Super Power Train Simulator. And uh, I hope you like that intro. Let's roll the actual intro. This was the pre-intro. I don't know what I'm even saying anymore. Let's do it. <laughs> Alright, so welcome everybody to today's video. Today we're playing Super Power Training Simulator. Just spawned in the game. I'm gonna get rid of my taskbar, of course. And uh, we are gonna be showing all the uh, training locations, or all just uh, like useful locations on the map right now. Eventually, the, I think the map might become revamped. But before that, I wanna say thank you guys so much for all the support recently like streams have been going great you guys have been showing up to that just in general you guys have been showing so much support we're almost at 50k subscribers which is gonna be a huge milestone for me and i hope to get a special video out for that which is about my youtube career in general and just uh, it's gonna be like high production value but i i hope you guys are into that so i just like to share that with you guys uh as a preface to this video so keep an eye out for that and please watch that once it comes out if you're interested in uh, in the slightest first of all I wanted to just look through my stats with you guys because I've been training off screen a lot of course and I've been doing fist strength recently which is almost at 100 million which should change color by then body toughness is at 150 million almost I'm gonna try and get there at 150 million then uh, movement speed and jump force are kind of high up there as well. I need to train movement speed, but that just, I mean, it's kind of hard to. Um, jump force, of course, uh, almost three mil, that's pretty good. I'll show what that looks like in a second, of course. And uh, psychic power is at 33 million. I need to get that up to 100 million, just like fish strength and stuff, but that's gonna take so long. Jeebus, that is definitely the longest, so I would invest pretty much as much tokens into there as you can if you have some available. So, right, uh, so this is what, how much did I have again? Right, so uh, 1.6 mo uh, million movement speed. What does that look like? It looks like this if you're running. <laughs> so you can literally run around the map really quick. So now I've pretty much doubled the jump force, double that. So how high do you think, do you guys think I will be able to get up to the mountain or the tornado spot. Let's see if I will be able to jump all the way up there. Oh, exact, I can jump exactly up there. That's perfect. That's really cool. All right, so let's jump up to that cloud. That's not gonna work. Oh my days, that's sad. Um, but yeah, I can definitely jump pretty high up. So yeah, that is something uh, pretty cool. I can jump pretty much across the map uh, with one jump. So that's useful. As well, let's take a look at some more of my stats. So uh, flight will definitely is pretty fast for me because my psychic is really high and my movement speed as well. So I think I would say flying is actually faster than just my regular running. So yeah, uh, that is pretty much the extent of my power. What about my, my just my regular stuff? It's very dark purple for my attacks and as well of course i can soul steal but i can uh, soul attack but i cannot really show that much anyway spots that will help you train so once you start out you might not be able to go to all these insane looking spots so what you want to do first so you want to go if you want to train fist strength so you want to train your your punches and your bullet punches and your energy spear fist and you want to go here to this little rock, if you use your punch, you will get a pretty good multiplier. Of course, I did, did uh, I have it multiplied by 16, so it won't give you 1600. It should give you about about 10 every punch. So once you start out, of course. So if you think that is not enough, then you can train your fist strength. Of course, I will do this per skill. If you want to train, uh, or if you want another place to train your fist strength. So uh, if you've done that, and once you learn your flying ability, you can actually make your way up here to this little cloud because uh, some people actually don't notice. I, uh, I had to tell someone this recently. Uh, but there's a crystal here that you can punch. So if you want to just, you can just run up here and actually <coughs> punch this crystal and it will give you a thousand times your regular one. So usually I get 16 and then I get, if I punch this crystal, I will get 16k. So that is crazy guys, 1.6k, that is 
insane, so you want to go up there if you have your flying ability. That's the only way you can actually make it up there. But of course, uh, that is everything for punching that I know of. Of course, I might miss some things, so if, if I miss something uh, for a ability, then definitely let me know in the comment section down below. So for the next one is body toughness. So your regular old way to train body toughness is by um, just having your, uh, your push-ups, which is your regular old ability, which you do by just equipping it and keeping it up. So it's just clicking, that is how you train your body toughness. And once your body toughness reaches like 100 plus-ish, so I would suggest having it to uh, five times what it recommends. So uh, you'll, you'll know what that means in a second. So the first thing you want to do is go down here in the ports. So you want to go all the way over to the ports, which is, uh, if you see spawn over there, it is over the bridge down here. So down at the docks, there's a secret location. You see this little detective house. You go in here and there is a 100 plus body toughness spot that you can train in. So uh, like I said, I would suggest having over 500, then it won't kill you because now, um, because if you have like 400, it will really slowly kill you. So if you want to AFK it, then definitely I do not recommend sitting here with lower than 500 body toughness. So um, once you've AFK'd enough or just trained enough in general, you want to go over here to this fire bath. But that is going to be a massive difference because that is from 100 to 10,000. So I would recommend, of course, having 50,000 instead of 10,000. So when I have pretty much that counts for everything you want to pretty much have five times what it says you should have uh, if you don't want to get killed by it that is so uh, this will give you of course quite a buff from um, the so this one will give me 80 this one will give me double that so my regular old push-ups will give me 16 that one will give me 160 or no wait 16 to 80 to 106 so yeah, this one gives me 10 times, that one gives me 5 times. Um, so yeah, once you've completed that, that that takes a while, guys, by the way. I'm, I'm acting like it's no, no big deal, but uh, uh, training body toughness is very difficult. So uh, once you've completed that, this is what some people don't know what, what you should do. Um, you should be able to at least water run, I would say. Um... Uh, well, actually, you can do it while swimming as well. It just takes a while to get there, I suppose. But you want to go to this little ice cave, which is on the edge or, like, the top right of the map. I say top, but this could be the bottom. Depends on your way of viewing it, I suppose. Uh, oh, my days. I need to just have my auto bulk on. There we go. Uh, I just did some sort of flying double jump thing. But there's this ice bath in here. That will need you to uh, that will require you to have 500,000 body toughness to not die in there uh, if you're AFKing. And this will give you a 20 times boost to your body toughness from your regular old push ups. So, guys, uh, definitely very useful ones, but you do need 500,000. So, that is another 10 times what you had before body toughness. Uh, of course, this is all too weak for me, and why am I stuck in here? Oh no, I'm back at innocence. Oh my days. I'm trying to become a superhero, by the way. So that is uh, the 100k spot, and then if you've completed that, you want to go all the way over here to the tornado, which will require you to have 1 million body toughness. Of course, I do suggest, once again, the to have 5 million body toughness. Um, so yeah, what you can do here is just sit here and by the way, this is what you should do for every time you train body toughness. You should be flying and having your meditation on as well because that is multitasking of course. But that is not what I'm here for today. I'm not here to give tips and tricks. I'm just here to list locations to train every single skill. So uh, this is where you train There's a little, little tip there I suppose in there. Um, so yeah, it will give you 800 body toughness if you have the same multiplier as me of course. And, uh, that, yeah, that's really useful. This is a spot where you're gonna stay very long, because this will take ages. But, um, yeah, once you completed this one, I remember sitting here for, for days on end. But, uh, once you completed that, we want to go all the way over to the volcano, which will have you required to have 10 million to even just be in there and not instantly die. Uh, you want 50 million to actually stay alive in there. And of course, I am now at uh, 150 million, so for me, it's no big deal, but yeah, it, it's gonna be difficult for you to stay alive here if you don't have uh, 50 million. 
So uh, this is yeah, this is the advanced spot. This is where you will stay if you have uh, if you're like at the peak of body toughness. And uh, yeah, uh, hopefully more spots will be added sooner or later, rather sooner than later, of course. And then up for the next skill is your your regular old movement speed. So where you, there's no specific spot where you should train movement speed, but I'll just list anyway how you do it. Um, so of course this has been fixed uh, before, but what you want to start out with, because uh, you could start out with the 100 ton before, but that's not available anymore. So first of all, you just want to uh, train it with regular walking, which will, as you can see, give me eight times movement speed. Once you equip the 100 LB, it will give you a 10 times movement speed boost, or no, a two times movement speed booster, or well, yeah. Uh, no, it doesn't boost your movement speed. What am I even saying? So uh, the next one will give you a Well, so it just continues pretty much so one ton and then you want to go to ten tons Which is the one I am on right now for jumping I think so yeah I cannot use the 100 ton yet. This is for like really advanced movement speed Of course, I'm just up to like a million or something so ten tons and then 100 tons it will yeah So you want to just equip this and have like an auto walker walk you back and forward one step back one step forward One step back one step forward so you should train jump and movement hand in hand pretty much I would suggest that is the movement speed for you and then a jump force I can already said it's the same deal so I'm not gonna explain that as well and psychic I already sort of explained it but what you want to do in the beginning uh, if you are just starting out you just want to sit down in spawn because that's where you cannot be killed if you're innocent anyway if you're a hero or villain you can be killed here but you just want to sit here and AFK until they have a certain amount and if you just complete the main quest pretty much that's how you how you get um, up to speed and once you are able to fly which you will eventually get you should be doing that whilst having psychic equipped and you will get 10 times the amount you got normally and there's no other additional buff actually except for the 10 times multiplier but you can literally do this whilst doing anything except for movements um, speed and fist training so yeah, uh, that, that is all the skills you can train, guys. Let's go over to the outro screen and check you guys out of the video. So guys, on that note, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, let me know with a like rating down below. Subscribe over here by this button and check out the video over here because it is very similar. And I hope to see you in my next video. See you later, guys. Hopefully, cheers.